Hey, what is up everyone? This is Flash from Flash Hobbies, and I guess you're wondering why it's so dark in here. Usually my videos are pretty well lit. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on lights. So, uh, right now I am running my lights from the receiver and the battery. So stock battery, basically a 2S, 7.4 volt. Um, I feel like the brightness is not where it needs to be. And, uh, I mean, I, I do get some light from all of the, the lights that I do have on there, but I feel like they could be brighter. So I have a few choices. Like I said, on camera, these are showing actually somewhat bright. Um, but I am actually a little disappointed with how bright they are, and I feel like they could be a lot brighter. And I'm sorry for the beeping, but I don't have a remote binded to this truck right now. So that's why you're getting the beeping. But anyways, so I have the light bar inside because I do plan to run this one pretty hard, and I, I am going to roll over eventually and I don't want to lose my light bar so it's on the inside and you'll actually be able to see it through the outside of the window which I might cut out I might cut out from the black line down right now it's it's still got the plastic on there but for the sake of this video we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and I guess you guys let me know if you see the difference um, we might be able to see it in person and not so much on camera but hey you know that's uh, part of the risk we're gonna take for this video so here we have these uh, RC four-wheel drive Baja Squadron lights in the front. Uh, they are running off of the receiver, which uh, usually puts out about six volts. So what I did was this. So my Radio Shack is closing, which as far as I know, all of them are closing. So if you can find it, this is what I was able to find. And if you want to look for that at your local Radio Shack, there's nothing on the front on that one. But basically what it is, it's a five pack of these. So you get a nine bolt end here and then the other end is basically open. You can put whatever you want into it. So what I did was I soldered in a power switch. So just to show you, we have the battery, which I also got at Radio Shack, they were on sale, um, plugged into here. And if we follow this, okay, here we have our leads. Um, basically what I did is I soldered uh, the the wires together and then put it together with some heat shrink so this is probably never gonna come off unless you really really wanted to so following the line we're at our power switch and then this power switch actually breaks off into two if you want this power switch I will put a link in the description below I got them off of Amazon it came with like an eight pack for I don't know eight bucks something like that it's a very good deal but just keep in mind it does come with only one female and one male end on that one so what I was gonna do is plug all of my lights into this 9 volt battery and see if that made a difference in the brightness and one of the things that I like about it is that you will have the on off switch so you can switch these on and off whenever you want um, so let's go ahead and test it and see how it looks. So this is going to be with the 9 volt. Now again, I don't know if this is going to show up on film, but in person I can already see the difference. These lights are actually, I'd say, almost double the brightness from what they were before. And I apologize if it doesn't show through, but in person I can definitely see the difference. But you guys let me know and we'll, like I said, uh, we're going to do a side-by-side -side right here. So on the left we have the 6 volt and on the right we have the 9 volt. I think this is going to be very helpful and I actually have a lot of these so I might actually start wiring almost all of my trucks to this. So it's less drain on the receiver even though they're LED it's still taking some of the resources away from that so um, I, I don't mind using a 9 volt and 9 volts are fairly cheap. Um, very easy to find so I won't, I won't really have an issue with this so uh, this is a, a very good solution for me and I hope this might be a solution for someone out there so like I said these lights they do work and this power switch works just fine so uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and we will see you on the next episode <music>